Hi everyone, I'm Omri and I lead product management for Microsoft Defender Steam and XDR. And I would also like to introduce you to Nila, my dear colleague, who will walk us through the interesting part of today's session with a live demo of the product right after I'm done. I'm really excited to be here. And you know, uh, our product marketing general manager gave me a nice advice. He told me yesterday that to break the ice, tell some story about uh, the previous time where you were in Chicago and it was really cold and maybe you lost your jacket or some heroic story. But the, the thing is that I've, it's my first time in Chicago, so I don't have any interesting story to tell. And we're here to talk about Microsoft Sentinel and security, so let's go back to our topic. And, and look, the, you probably have been hearing this for a while now, cybersecurity threats are increasing. And it's not new, but in the last year, we're actually seeing a hockey stick trend with cyber threats increasing 10 times over the last 12 months. And while this, and, and it's not just about volume, it's also about sophistication. Adversary constantly evolve their cyber attack operations. They think in graphs and work across and attack across multiple workloads with sophisticated attack techniques to inflict even greater damage. And while that happens, security teams need to cope with technology that sometimes does not live up to today's threat, quickly evolving threat landscape. They have to work across dozens of siloed, fragmented security tools, and that's just inefficient and creates security gaps. And in addition to do all of that security, requires processing enormous amounts of data. And I'm hearing constantly from many and many, many customers the painful trade-off that they need to make between security coverage and keeping on budget. And that leads to increasing amount of security professionals that report burnout. They are doing their best to keep up with the quickly evolving threat landscape, but struggle to deal with the solutions that they have in place today. And that leads to understaffing and eventually makes organization less secured. And these are all extremely hard challenges. Let's learn a little bit about what organization needs to do differently to protect themselves against the, the modern threat landscape. First, security teams must have solutions that enable them to catch emergent threats faster. Generic detections that require heavy tuning are not enough, they put too much burden on the SOC and do not adapt to the quickly evolving threats fast enough. And we'll talk about it more later. Second, you must protect everything with a single pane of glass to drive efficiency. And we must eliminate the trade-off organizations have to make between efficient security coverage and and, and keeping on budget. All of these are very ambitious goals, and it's, going, it's, and it's a journey to get there that will not end tomorrow. But here at Microsoft, we are committed to solving these challenges together. And today, we're going to walk through the advances that we made with Microsoft Sentinel that brings us closer than ever to solving them. And we know from experience that our approach is working. First and foremost, it's reflected by a cost growing customer base with over 25,000 organizations worldwide that trust Microsoft Sentinel in securing their most critical assets. And second, with hundreds of thousands of security professionals that are part of our expert community to provide and get support to customers and partners, and for what, and, and the thing that I see the most, uh, like I cherish the most is 
the direct relationship that these experts build with us, influencing our product development with invaluable, pro invaluable feedback. So please keep it up. And last, we're also proud in the industry recognition, with, my with Microsoft Sentinel being recognized as a leader in three major reports, Gartner, Forrester, and IDC, and it was also recently named Buyer's Choice by TrustRadar. So to frame our conversation, we're going to use this schema that roughly outlines the security lifecycle when working with a SIM. It starts with Connect, where I onboard and retrieve data for multiple sources that make up my entire digital estate. Moves to Manage, once I get the data in, how do I get the most security value out of it while reducing costs and keeping on budget? And third, and probably the most important and the most critical part, is how do I protect my digital estate? starting from detecting emerging threats early to responding and remediating them quickly. So let's get started with Connect, the process of bringing all your security data into Microsoft Sentinel. To effectively protect everything, we need a single place that connects to all of our workloads, applications, infrastructure, cloud, etc. And brings all of the data that is relevant for security in. And with so much disparate, disparate data that is relevant for security, it's a hard job. Here's how we, Microsoft Sentinel makes it easier for you. First, for the vast majority of applications, we have over 300 and other data sources. We have over 350 connectors that are available out of the box that can be that can be configured in several clicks, and so you can get up to, up, and up to speed and running quickly. And we also acknowledge that there are customers with unique or proprietary data sources that are not supported out of the box. And with the recently GA'd codeless connectors, customers can configure these, these custom connectors within a matter of several hours with no programming required. And last, the unified SecOps platform allows you to get up to speed even quicker if you are using Microsoft Sentinel and some or all of other Microsoft security tools, and we'll dive into that shortly. This is, uh, let, and let's talk for a second about Microsoft, about Microsoft Sentinel connectors. This is just a partial list of the connectors that are available today, and uh, today we have over 350 connectors the, uh, that are available to customers through Microsoft Sentinel's con uh, Content Hub, which we recently made easier with generative AI enhanced search that allows, you, that allows you to quickly reason over this large library, express in natural language what you're looking for, and it will point you to exactly the, the solution or connector that you need. And we go beyond just bringing the data in and offer out of the, out of the box value in the form of, of detections, automations, dashboards, and more. And this library constantly evolves and expands through our engineering or through the broader community and ecosystem. And as I mentioned a minute ago, if you still have a unique or proprietary data source that you like to bring in, Codeless Connectors allows you to do that in a matter of hours with no coding required. Let's talk, uh, talk for a minute about the Unified SecOps platform. At Ignite last year, we announced Microsoft's Unified SecOps platform. We made big promises about how it was bringing together our world-class threat protection stack. SIEM, XDR, multi-cloud security, exposure management, all grounded in vast threat intelligence and, and cutting-edge AI. To, pro to provide unparalleled security and efficiency. And today, I'm really happy to share that we have over 6,000 customers who are using it to secure their estate today. And the response has been amazing as they experience the value of truly unified security. And 
In the context of onboarding, the unified SecOps platform basically eliminates the need to connect the different Microsoft security products because they are part of a single platform that offer native, native zero-click integration between Microsoft tools. And we constantly advance the unified SecOps platform with one of the key areas of investment is to assure that every single Sentinel customer is able to onboard and leverage it. Today, we're sharing additional expansions, and namely for the unified SecOps platform to be available to customers who only use Microsoft Sentinel without any of any other Microsoft uh, security or, or a Defender product. And we, continue, and we know, and, and it's a journey, and uh, we know that if majority of our customers can use it today, but if you are still waiting, I can, I'm happy to share that within several months, uh, by February 25, we will support the topologies, the remaining topologies you can see on the right, and every single Microsoft Sentinel customer will be able to quickly onboard and benefit from this platform. And we'll talk more about its benefit in a couple of slides from now. So we connected all of our dispersed security data and brought it into Sentinel. Now, how do I get the most value of it, expand my security coverage while minimizing the cost associated with security? And it's critical to bring all of the data into one place in order to protect anything. And this, as most of you probably know, requires handling enormous amounts of data that needs to be retained and reasoned over. How do you do that while keeping on budget and not inflating costs? Uh, we've been dedicated to this challenge for quite some time, and I'm really excited to share with you today the advances that we've made over the last year that leverage cloud's flexibility to enable you to do it easier and cheaper than ever. First, you can now retain, ingest, retain, investigate, and hunt over, over high-volume verbose data with auxiliary logs that we re released to public preview several months ago. And it's not just about retaining and hunting over that verbose data. We also allow you to proactively detect threats over the data with summary rules, which we'll cover in the next couple of slides. And last, SOC optimization that is generally available continue to evolve and offer you tailored recommendations to help you maximize your security coverage and reduce costs to a minimum. Let's talk for a minute about data. Not all security logs were made equal. We, our approach is to classify security data into primary data and secondary data. Most of the security data that we are focusing on today is what we refer to here as primary data. The security value, th this is uh, usually logs that are generated by our different security products. It could be our EDR, antivirus, email security, and even threat intelligence feeds. The security value that we're getting from these logs is clear. And practically every organization with advanced security measures in place leverage them for detection, analytics, hunting, and so on. However, as security teams try to detect emerging threats, there's a need to gain visibility to what's going on in other places, such as your network. And that data is often verbose and high volume, and mainly includes a lot less security insights compared to primary data. So how do you get the security insights and visibility that you need from these logs without inflating costs? Microsoft Sentinel data tiers were built to address that challenge with cloud flexibility. First, our analytics log tier that most of you are probably, or those who use Microsoft Sentinel are probably familiar with, provides you with the most robust set of capability for detection and unlimited querying. Several months ago, we announced the public preview of auxiliary logs 
This is a purpose-built solution for secondary data. It allows you to bring in high-volume verbose data at a fraction of the price and hunt over it inexpensively using synchronous and asynchronous queries depending on the scale of the data that you're reasoning over. And both of these tiers can be stored in long-term retention, which we recently enhanced to support up to 12 years of retention period. And that enables organizations to store data for a long period of time for com compliance or regulatory um, reasons, and even hunt over years of security data inexpensively. And I'm and we're also, and I'm hearing, like, and we're hearing from customers how this solves a real challenge that they have. Because um, many need to make painful compromises that prevent them from storing the data and gaining visibility to what's going on across their network, for example, or that they do store that information, but do that in some external tool. And that puts a lot of burden on the SOC because they need to deal with yet another security tool in order to gain full visibility and control to what's going on in, or in their digital estate. So as I said, the primary data goes to our analytics log tier and the secondary data goes to auxiliary log tier, which allows you to hunt over that verbose high volume information inexpensively. But we need to go beyond just reactive hunting and need, to be, and need to be proactive with threat detection. And this is where summary rules comes into play and allows you to, to achieve exactly that. It automatically sifts through the high volume verbose log, logs, aggregate only the relevant information and move it to the analytics log tier where you can benefit from the full breadth of detection capabilities that we offer. And that enables you to expand your security coverage without inflating costs. And let's look at a real life example to make it clear. A customer brings in verbose firewall data to auxiliary logs and store it at a fraction of the cost compared to analytics, the analytics log tier. Then a summary rule aggregates that information by IP address and moves the aggregated information to the analytics log tier where threat detection takes place and, and, uh, and, and a potential suspicious network activity causes the product to generate an alert the, uh, that includes all the required context for an efficient investigation. And then the security analyst receives that alert with the full context and is able to complete the investigation and hunting if necessary over the high volume verbose data that is stored in auxiliary logs inexpensively. And is a, and also able to remediate the threat if, if needed. So we've increased our security coverage using auxiliary logs and kept the cost down. Sent Microsoft Sentinel does more for you to help you manage your SIM efficiently and effectively. SOC optimization that is today generally available for all of Microsoft Sentinel customers automatically provides you with tailored guidance based on the data you ingest, you, the current product configuration, and your risk profile. And it, and it helps you to stay more secure and reduce costs. It automatically generates recommendation when there is an opportunity for you to stay more secured by tracking the, by tracking MITRE attack techniques that your environment may be vulnerable to. It helps you to drive more value by identifying logs that you already ingest and can be leveraged better and in a more comprehensive manner for threat detection or hunting. And it also helps you to manage costs and literally save money by highlighting logs that can be stored in a cheaper tier if, uh, if, for example, they're not f being uh, utilized often. And when Sentinel surfaces a recommendation, it contains a full view of 
the impact and guidance on what do you, on, on what do you need to do next. And the screenshot that you can see here, Sentinel identify um, um, an insufficient protection against business email compromise, highlighting exactly in a chart what are the MITRE, relevant MITRE attack techniques that you are well protected against and where are your gaps. And if you follow the prompt, you get a step-by-step -step guidance to what do you need to, what changes do you need to implement in the product configuration to stay more secure against that specific threat type. And we'll see that in the, in the demo shortly. And we see that it works. Customers who leverage SOC optimization's recommendation benefit from increase in data utilization, or in increase in utilization of the data that they already ingest by over 30% for threat detection and, and hunting. And they improve their security coverage against MITRE attack technique metrics by, by uh, 17%. So we got all the data in Microsoft Sentinel and we've made sure that we increase our, uh, uh, optimize our security coverage and, and while well, keeping the cost down. Now I think we're getting to the most critical part is how do we actually protect our entire digital estate against the emerging threats and speeding up our time to response when needed. So threats are always evolving. This year probably faster than ever. And your detection and response capabilities need to as well. Today, most SIM solutions provide generic threat detection that needs to be customized and tuned for it to be efficient. It's important, it's important, it is valuable, and it is here to stay. But if you want to catch emerging threats faster, and if you want to reduce the burnout of your SOC analysts, then you need a SIM that does more for you seamlessly. Microsoft Sentinel, and in the next couple of slides, we'll learn about how Microsoft Sentinel leverages the world's largest threat intelligence store to enable you to get ahead of the adversary and how the unified SecOps platform provides with unparalleled security value in the SIM space. And when we'll end up with learning about how Security Copilot dramatically accelerates and reduces the mean, your mean time to response. So if you're not familiar, let me first introduce you to Microsoft Threat Research. It's an organization that has over 10,000 security experts across 77 countries that relentlessly track hundreds of threat actors worldwide, including the most sophisticated nation state ones. And I can tell you that in the threat intelligence space, more data means more knowledge. And Microsoft, with its vast portfolio of uh, cloud infrastructure, productivity application, operating system, all the way down to gaming, in addition to our security portfolio, generates an unprecedented 78 trillion signals daily that are reasoned over by artificial intelligence and our experts in Microsoft uh, threat, threat Research Org to curate and maintain the most comprehensive and accurate threat actor profiles. And Microsoft Sentinel put these profiles to work. It automatically matches every, uh, logs that it ingests against these profiles and alerts you if it identified any threat actor activity in your network or anywhere in your digital estate. And it does that seamlessly, out of the box, without you having to do anything. And with the recent announcement of extending the support for this across network and DNS logs, can, I'm happy to share that now every log source that is ingested into Sentinel and adheres to, to supported schemas can benefit from this proactive detection that is based on comprehensive understanding of the threat actors that are after you. And knowing who is after you and where are they coming from and how are they expected to attack gives you an upper hand and enables you to, to 
get ahead of your adversary. And this is, again, available out of the box and always kept up to date, so you don't really need to work hard to benefit from it. And I want to spend a couple of minutes talking about the Unified SecOps platform. It tr truly enables you to up-level your security without working hard on it. I mentioned uh, in the last slide how traditional seems rely on generic threat detection that you need to tune. So I assume that most of you are familiar with Defender XDR, our industry-leading detection and response solution that offers you with comprehensive protection for all of the workloads that it supports, devices, identity, email, cloud, and so on. With the unified SecOps platform, all of that value is now seamlessly applied to Sentinel, which means that every application, infra the IT infrastructure, or other security tools and so on that you integrate to Sentinel benefit from, Microsoft, from detection and response capabilities that are curated by our security experts, and it's on by default, just like Defender XDR. And we're seeing results. First, with the Unified SecOps platform, we introduced a unified incident correlation engine, which previously we had a, an incident correlation engine for Defender XDR that grouped and correlated alerts generated by the different Defender products into a, into, into single, incident, a single incident. And we had a similar one for Sentinel, with the unified SecOps platform, we bring them both together and have a single incident correlation engine that, is, that works faster than ever and enables you eventually to respond to threats faster. And we're also seeing dramatic noise reduction with, of uh, up to 86% where we're seeing that in gen, in, on average 100x alerts across Defender and any data that you bring into Sentinel are being correlated to approximately 14x incidents on average. That's a huge productivity boost for, for the SOC, and it reduces the security professional burn, burn, burnout because they just simply need to deal with a much smaller queue. And last but not least, it also saves you money. Previously, for those who use Defender security tools alongside Sentinel, they, you had to ingest the telemetry from Defender XDR into Microsoft Sentinel. Um, and now, with both of them becoming part of the same platform, that, ingested, that, that ingestion is free. It, it, is, it is no longer needed and is free for up to th for 30 days because we, there is no need to ingest the data from here to there. And lastly, I want to speak for a bit about Security Copilot. Security Copilot is leading the industry by delivering the promise of generative AI to security. And it's so easy to use because it's natively embedded into, as you can see here, in our Unified SecOps platform portal, which is, as I said, now, with, uh, now is also available to customers who only use Microsoft Sentinel without any of the, of the rest of Defender security products. And it's not just me who think this way. We're hearing that from customers who are using it today in their day-to-day -day SOC operations. Generally speaking, it helps you save a lot of time by automating time-consuming tasks. And, but it also up-level what you can do as a security professional. You can think of this as a tier two analyst that can now do some of the work of tier three. And I'll give you two examples. It automatically summarizes every incident in the Unified SecOps platform, telling you exactly what happened so you can quickly understand that without spending precious time investigating that incident. And it goes beyond just telling you what happened. It also provides you with recommendations on what actions you need to take in order to complete the investigation or respond and remediate to the threat. 
It can range from which devices need to be isolated, users that should be suspended, or, or certificates that should be revoked, or even end users that you should contact in order to validate whether a certain activity is legitimate or not. And it not just tell you which users you need to contact, it also crafts the message that you need to send her or him, including one click button that you can press in order to send that message over Teams. And that overall makes the SOC team a lot more efficient, and we're seeing that customers who use it in production reduce their time to response by 30%. And we also know that not every Microsoft Sentinel customer is using the unified SecOps platform yet. Some, of the, some will be able to use it shortly. Well, it's available to most, some will be able to use it shortly. And even once it's available, we know that it, it takes time to adopt a new security product. But we want everyone to be able to benefit from Security Copilot as soon as possible. And for that, we, are, we will soon introduce Security Copilot for Microsoft Sentinel in the existing Azure portal, so everyone can benefit from this immense value. And first, so this is my last slide, so first of all, thank you for listening. And I'm gonna wrap up by saying that Sentinel, that is already an industry-leading sim, made significant progress this year and is better than ever. Uh, but it's still, and if you go back to the challenges that I mentioned in the beginning, it's a journey, and I'd like to thank you for the partnership as we work together to face the ever-evolving threat landscape. And now, let's see everything that I talked about live, and I want to call Nila my dear colleague. Stage is yours, and thank you everyone for listening. Right. Welcome, everyone, and uh, thank you, Omri. So my name is Neelam, and I'll be walking you through this demo. Um, so today we will demonstrate the really cool innovations we brought to Microsoft Sentinel this year. But first of all, then you must be wondering why I'm showing the Defender portal. Well, this is because Microsoft Sentinel is part of the Defender portal. So this unification means you don't need to, to manage two different portals for your security operations, and this is where we are bringing all these cool innovations. Um, so in this demo, we will go through the capabilities we recently added, um, like threat intelligence enrichment, so like managing data, analyzing incidents with security copilot. Um, okay, so let's head into the portal. Um, as you can see here, this is Microsoft's Unified Security Operations Platform. And on this dashboard here, you can see an overview page that brings together capabilities from your SIEM, your XDR, um, Security Copilot, and Exposure Management into a single experience. Um, <clears throat> so Microsoft Sentinel, as you know, provides like hundreds of data connectors to help you bringing logs from different connected sources like your applications, devices, um, network logs, et cetera, to, to kind of help you identify threats. Um, and in this list, you, if you're familiar with it, uh, you'll find all your data connectors. And for each of these connectors, you can find the um, related content and visualize the amount of events that have been logged to aid into your investigations. So ingesting high volume logs, like firewall logs, can be quite expensive. And we have introduced the low cost auxiliary logs here for these types of verbose logs. So combined with, with summary rules, which allow you to use aggregations um, for this data in monitoring and in also in your investigations. And here we have a summary rule called the network patterns that detects anomalous, anomalous traffic from um, our firewall logs ingested um, in the auxiliary log table. So here you will see it's called the common security logs underscore CL. Um, so let's go ahead and edit this rule to see what it's doing. Here we add the details of the summary rule, um, and we also specify the destination table. 
Um, so since we are only going to use a subset of the data that's ingested into the auxiliary table, so it needs to be ingested uh, now in a custom table, which is in the analytics logs there. And this will be used for your hunting and your detections. Um, so as you can see here, it can be an existing custom log table, or you can create a new one. So let's have a look at the summary logic. In this page, you can see the, the query and its execution frequency. So next, we need to see the results that it's going to give us. So let's click on preview results. So this is just, like I mentioned, a subset of the data that we need to analyze. And this is what will be ingested in the destination table that we created earlier. Let's review and create the rule. So having created this summary rule, you can now use it for your detections, your hunting, your incident investigation. Another really cool and very powerful capability that we have added in the Unified Portal is the SOC optimization. And this is something that customers are really excited about, and we have really created a good fan base on it. So once the data is, is onboarded, we need to use it in an optimal way. So leveraging the goodness of like, machine learning alongside Microsoft security expertise and signals, SOC optimization recommendations help you like, close coverage gaps against specific threats and, and tighten your ingestion rates against data that doesn't provide any security value. Um, so in the middle of the page, um, you can see like, the different cards, and that suggests like, how you can optimize your, uh, your data. So let's actually go into one of them. So in this card, it's suggesting that you improve your coverage against the BEC, which is the financial fraud uh, one. So you can see full details like your full coverage um, based, on the, uh, like based on what you have in your environment. So even if you have high coverage, there may still be ways to improve um, uh, with recommendations based on the MITRE attack technique uh, and framework, so just to identify the common attack types. And in the middle, like uh, at the bottom, sorry, you can choose to take actions based on the recommendations here. Like, for example, um, wait, it's like at the bottom, but you can go to the content hub to download some uh, like content for it. Now, let's head over to the incident experience. It. Okay, so the incidents page provides a snapshot of all open incidents that needs review. Um, so, complete like with search and sorting tools for like efficient triaging and response. So, the incidents in the unified security operations platform are built like with the Defender Correlation Engine, which brings incidents together like 50 times faster. Um, so with a single model across your XDR log and thread intelligence data, you don't need to ingest your XDR data into Sentinel to get fully correlated incidents. Let's open the first one here. Okay, so on this incident page, we can see security copilot reading across all the signals, um, like creating an incident summary that's based on the um, MITRE domain. So you can go ahead and see this. Um, in addition, it provides like a guided response, outlining the completed actions, the items that need verification, task planning, etc. And if you'd like, you can also go ahead and generate an incident report, as you can see on top. So while we recommend to keep the panel open for your AI insights, you can also close it to expand the, um, the incidents view. So I would like to bring your attention here to the tags shown um, like 
here at the top. So um, the light blue ones that point to threat actors like Sangria Tempest and Storm 1113. So these were bought by an automation playbook integrated with Defender Threat Intelligence. So when you dive into investigating this incident, you can see the attack story. Um, on the left here, to gain a visual and interactive review of all the alerts and activities connected to it. And this allows you to also grasp the sequence of events and the extent of the attack. And here, we observe the alert that was generated by our summary rule, the network patterns, um, which I showed previously. So this is like querying IP addresses identified as IOCs or indicators of compromise from the Microsoft research, and it's correlating it with our firewall logs that we ingested as auxiliary logs. So initially, security copilot understood the attack details um, from the network as well as disabling the, the user account. However, we do not have enough information to identify the attacker. So in addition, to our firewall data, along with the Defender Threat Intelligence data, that's what actually connected the th threat actors to this attack. So let's, let's actually open the activity log to learn more about this attack. Um, so here you can see descriptions of all the threat actors that we identified. So you can see like Storm 1113 and, and Sangria Tempest. And you will see like the automation playbook that uh, provided some summary about each of these threat actors. Um, yeah, so security copilot then analyzed that information and determined that Sangria Tempest and Storm 1113 were related to this incident based on Microsoft threat intelligence. Um, so the TI tells us here that um, it's Sangria Tempest that may have built the back door. Um, and Storm 1113 that were related to this incident, um, also like based on its expertise, uh, packaging and distribution to set them up. You can see the collaboration here, and it's not good. Okay. So far, we have seen how Copilot with a Sentinel incident enriched with MDTI can give us more context and guidance for protecting the environment. So now that we know that Storm 1113 and Sangria Tempest are attacking our organization, uh, we can do a more focused threat hunt via sticks objects and quickly respond to any identified threat. If you'd like a sneak peek of the really cool innovations that we are bringing to, threat, to the threat hunting experience using TI, you can join the theater session uh, that's happening tomorrow about investigating threats with Microsoft Sentinel. Um, you can also visit us at our booth in the Hub if you'd like to see more of this demo. And with this, uh, this brings us to the end of the demo.